This is a city of majesty. The unexpected maverick of the Midwest. Where kings held court. Where monarchs rise. Where the kingdom comes. No matter what. Showing up, holding up, sports, sporting in this town where royalty has been tested and kings have been crowned. It's Kansas City. It's 2024. It's time for a pitch fit for a queen. Thanks so much for tuning in as The Current. Just two games left in the regular season, including tonight. It's their home finale. Hey. The next home game will be in the team's new state-of-the-art <laughs> Riverfront Stadium in Kansas City, Missouri. It's going to be nice to have it. It's our own. We don't have to rent from anybody. We, we now own a house. How's it going, Kendra? It's his first game. So it's a great way to go out on the, on the home front. Two blue squadron, 134. Oh, okay. Thank you, thank you. The fans are in here packed in all the energy. We're just moments away from kickoff. Again, a new record attendance, more than 15,000 here tonight for the home finale. Children's Mercy Park. Casey Tell I died. Casey Tell I died. I know I am. I swear I am. I'm Casey Tell I died. Casey Tell I died. Casey Tell I died. I know I am. I swear I am. I'm Casey Tell I died. It's going to be controlled by Kansas City. Dabinia, what a pass and what a goal. Unbelievable pass by Dabinia. And that was Izzy Rodriguez with another goal, her third of the season in the 14th minute and the current have an early 1-0 lead. That was just the beginning of an electric send off to a bright future. You're watching KNBC 9 Chronicle, a pitch fit for a queen. I'm Donna Pippen and I'm Jamie Weiss. We're looking ahead to the future of the Kansas City current here at their new home CPK Stadium built along the Missouri River. First, we want to take you back to where the team got its start as we look toward the future. Women's soccer is not new to Kansas City. There is a new team, Casey, baby! new ownership, and a new home built just for these athletes. CP Casey Stadium, named for Canadian Pacific Kansas City Railways, is the first stadium created for a professional women's sports team in the world. But back to the beginning in 2013. Let the NWSL begin. We got the very first NWSL game here in Kansas City. Our forward, Renee Cuellar, scored the very first NWSL goal. So there's a lot of history with the NWSL and Kansas City. I can tell you big moments. Kat McIntyre is the unofficial historian of women's soccer in Kansas City. Signed by Lauren Holiday. Her storage bin. This is what I call our cheese cow era. A treasure trove of memorabilia. There was this huge energy from the 2012 Olympics and there was no league to come back to. So we were all anxiously waiting and when they announced the league in the fall, I really honestly had no idea that Kansas City was getting a team or that they would even be up for a team. FC Kansas City was the first football club to bring professional women's soccer to the Metro. This jersey here is from the first season. 
It was my very first FC Kansas City jersey. Kat was um, all in. Had... She founded the KC Blue Crew to support the FC Kansas City Blues. The Blue Crew, the first supporters group for a women's team in KC. Never say fan club. <laughs> Just because people, yeah. Uh, so in soccer, uh, fans and supporters are different. Supporters groups create atmosphere. Katrina Hawkins joined the Blue Crew in 2017. So, yeah, I have a lot. <laughs> Late 80s soccer star to present day mama four, her passion for competition has never changed. I did not even know that there was a professional women's team in the Kansas City area, and which is to me, still mystifying because if anybody would have known, it would have been me. Um, I literally grew up since I, you know, was little, playing against my brothers um, and his friends, and um, I've I played all through college, and so I mean, I just I love soccer. One of the Shawnee Mission high schools is where we played our games, and the very first game sold out crowd, right? So I was thinking, oh my gosh, this is going to be amazing. We're going to have so many people at these games. You know, the, the Sporting Kansas City fans showed up. The band for Sporting Kansas City showed up. And I was just thinking, wow, this is, this is it. This is amazing. But that early momentum didn't last. Then the next game came and there were hardly any fans. I think it was just myself in the supporter section, maybe a few other people. And it really just continued from there as far as, you know, crowd size and, and things like that, which was very disheartening. Um, I think it had a lot to do with locations of where the games were played. There was no alcohol allowed. Um, you know, then we moved to UMKC the second season, much better facilities. Um, and I felt like environment and location. Despite the changes, the team brought home the national title in 2014. FC Kansas City has defended their title. And 2015. But even then, there wasn't a lot of effort put into promoting the team once they were here. Um, I think the most excited I got is when I ordered a Domino's pizza, like year six or seven, and on my Domino's pizza box was a flyer for FC Kansas City. And I was like, this is amazing. You know, everybody who orders a pizza is going to hear about FC Kansas City. But they didn't. At the end of the 2017 season, the team moved to Utah under new ownership. It felt like Kansas City um, had, let, had let the players down to me. Um, and that was a big loss, a big loss for us. It was very emotional. In 2019, the U.S. women's national team dominated every match and won it all. Half a world away, Kansas City-based investment bangers and married couple Chris and Angie Long found themselves in Paris watching the Women's World Cup. Right when we got back, we all of a sudden, like a lot of things just came together knowing Kansas City is a great sports market. So it was like this triangulation of, of ideas and then we started work on it immediately thereafter. And getting others on board, not a problem. They teamed up with Brittany Mahomes, wife of Chiefs quarterback Patrick Mahomes, and a former soccer star in her own right. I mean, we were moving at such a quick pace and we had so much to accomplish so quickly. And it literally, our, our, our goal was we cannot let this city down. I remember the day like it was yesterday because I was so excited, so overwhelmed. Um, you know, but I was also worried because I was like, we have to do this, right? We can't lose them again. Jump to the spring of 2021. Professional women's soccer was officially back in Kansas City. The newly named Kansas City Current premiered not on a pitch, but a diamond, Legends Field. When I found out that there was going to be a team, a new team, I told my husband, we're going all in, season tickets, I'm going to join the supporters group, like all this. Katrina didn't just join. Actually, this is what I should show you. But led the group, growing it from a few fans to 300 strong, making their presence known. With each drum beat. Everybody! I think if you talk to any uh, female athlete, specifically soccer players that are my age, uh, we've been waiting for this. We, we've wanted it for a really, really long time. And it sometimes probably felt like it was never going to happen. And then they take it even further and they build us our own stadium, which is the first in the world for women's sports, built for women. 
our training facility. Just every single thing that they've done, they've stepped it up, right? Um, and as a Kansas Cityan, uh, that has made me incredibly proud. The mindset was always, oh, you know what, let's have women's sports be break even or slightly negative. So with no precedent, people couldn't see what the possible could be. And one of the most amazing things about this is I think we've we've set the bar and we've shown people what you can do with women's sports and what you could do with investment. And that's going to have ripple effects for a long, long time. The next chapter in professional women's sports is open. A city that once struggled to embrace female athletes, now turning the page on how women are seen, giving support that will keep flowing. Ahead on KMBC 9 Chronicle. Quick, 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 play. Good. It's where soccer stars are born. Let's get bigger. Right now, they're just learning the basics. You have to be able to not use your hands. But these small girls All right, play. have big dreams. I want to be a professional soccer player when I grow up. I saw it all. I, I felt it all. No one understands that summit quite like Michelle Akers, a two-time world champion, Olympic gold medalist, and FIFA Player of the Century. The path forward she sees at CPKC Stadium. Like, yes, like, yes, it's for my team.